Welcome to We Who Survived. We are back for episode 13 of the Frost Access Tunnel Start. Um, right before I got the chance to start the recording, apparently from where I loaded, a ghoul was running at us and started to attack Daisy. Hey, let's see what you have. One thing I'm going to do real quick is, just in case she needs it, I'm going to give her a stim pack. I'll give her a bandage too. Oh crap. I don't have many stim packs on me. That's all right, because I can hopefully recover it off her later if we don't use that. Um, and I have a specific mission for her. I have to take her to the north graveyard up there. So that's what we are going to go do. I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything real quick. We got the intelligence bobblehead, so Idiot Savant might kick off a little less often, but we now have access to the medic perk. And more importantly, we have access to Gun Nut in one more level, so that's pretty cool. Okay, looks like they throw a few more at you here before you go then. Cool. That's what we want. I have Rad X. I should have been using it. I can't believe I wasn't using my Rad X. I should have a Rad Away though, if I need it. Alright, let's slow your roll, lady. Jesus, don't just go running. Wow, and now you attracted him. Thanks, dummy. This woman is so stupid. Alright. Now that you've brought them all over here. Cigarettes don't weigh anything. Always gotta take those. 93 of 95. Okay, yeah, because we do have that neat little handmade we picked up. Okay, well, this is going to be rough for everyone involved. Okay, here we are outside, and now we've got to get this lady pretty far alive. At a time, I'm not too sure I could even get myself there alive. It's sort of a waste, but we can use a bandage. thing is I don't want the illness so I think we'll save and if it turns out that I need it oops did I use the bandage no I didn't okay and then if it turns out I need the rat away then that will happen Are you sneaking? You're not even sneaking. Oh my god, Daisy. Dude. No effort. Absolutely zero effort into this. See? She's just like, here we are. Here we are. Oh god. Daisy, there's a glowing one right there. I swear to god, Daisy. <coughs> You're gonna get us both killed. Three years later, there's a mod that removes that from your settings. I, I need to get that mod. Okay, so they basically make this as hard as possible by making Daisy absolutely brain dead. All she wants to do is run around and get noticed by enemies. We don't have... okay. I don't have none of that going on, so... 
we'll hotkey use a bandage. I guess the only real option if I had one would be to try kill them from afar, but I'm almost out of 308 ammo, so... Okay, we've made it this far without her killing us. There she comes. Clop, 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 clop. Not even attempting. There he is starting to notice. Oh man, I got him on the neck. That's a, That should be a headshot. Okay. We might not be able to do this. We might just have to let the lady die. Unless we can find some super ultra sneaky route where there's absolutely zero enemies. Alright Daisy, we're gonna try a new route because that's literally about all we got at this point. We should be okay up here. The trouble is there's people on the right and there's ghouls on the left, so... And they're pretty much right at the same point is the real trouble, I would say. Alright, gonna drop a save. The more I save, the less redoing there is. What are you doing? Oh god. No, no, no. If this stupid lady would just sneak. Oh crap. It don't matter. Oh my god, why is this such an experience just trying to load it? Okay, we're back to here. I'm still saying that's the right route. I guess we're just gonna want to stay far left. We might be past that raider point with the turrets and might be able to get all the way up front, but I'm not sure about that. I just hear Daisy going clomp, clomp, clomp on her dang shoes, and I just want to turn around and stab her myself, dude. That's, that's the real talk right now. I have no love for Daisy at the moment. I don't know why we want to keep her alive and let her bury her child. Oh, I might have taken these ghouls out. Might have. That would be nice. Because then we can just stay over here, away from these guys. Okay, I think we're doing something. I think some amount of progress is being made. I'm getting Daisy to the graveyard. I don't- how would you even do this in a permadeath run? This is terrible. Let's go, dummy. I mean, Daisy. Huh, okay, so now we're sort of back home. Hold up. We should probably just go through here to get to Valenti Station. I don't know, I feel like in the end with loading screens and everything, it'll be about the same. At least this way there's some more adventure and challenge. Even if it's sort of miserable. Ooh, plus experience, found something.
feel like this is about to be a dead end. Oh, okay. Back up to here. We've been here. We've looted this. Hey, I think the vault tech dude could be around here. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna see if we can find him real quick. That's where we would have got up. He would have died somewhere with the ghouls. Where were the ghouls? Huh. Honestly, I remember having to jump. Oh, over here. No. I don't know where Vault Tech Dude died, but. I don't think we're gonna find his body. Alright, well, we could take this up anyway, maybe. Should be cleared. Oh, I thought that was him. Because that traveler's coat. Oh, wait. Is this the original? Yeah, we had to have come up from this way. Because it was on my left. So, maybe and perhaps... We can find the vault tech guy. Alright, now where would I have been running from? I think here. Because I remember there being... Oh, nope, not there. Um, it's gotta be this way. Oh my god. Daisy, you're the type of woman to just sit there and try and fight back, too, instead of run, huh? Alright. I'm probably just gonna reload that, because... I feel like otherwise Daisy's gonna just be stuck there forever and or die. And I do want to see the mission complete for content. Oh yeah, she's dead. What a dumb witch. Just run up at it. Okay, here we are. Let's try again. Yeah, at this point, I don't know about Fall Tech, dude. And he's, wherever he is, he'll probably get us killed. So, I guess we best not go searching right now. But we're making good progress, finally. If we can get this chick here, it'll be like getting... Getting a kindergartner to read fifth grade level. She is just not very smart. Granted, I'm not much smarter. I'm leading us into most of this, but she just runs head on with no question. Hey, I'm not sure what the best way is to come up, but we're nearly there. Where the heck? Oh, this might be right. Oh crap, I bet there's going to be ghouls to clear out. 98% certain there's going to be ghouls. Well, maybe I already drove these ones off before. I've been up here. Alright, lady, let's freaking bury your child. From those damn barrels. Hey there. We found what looks like a good spot. You have any shovel? Yeah. Are you serious? That's great news. You saved my life. Thank you. My God. Thank you. 
Oh, okay, so I guess I have to come back later. And there's her dead child. I guess she just carried her in her jacket. Um, yeah, we got Daisy here. Now let's hope she doesn't die. I guess the game will tell us when to return. And now maybe we'll take Valenti back to park, drop off our spoils, figure out if we're taking this. I think we have enough 762 to justify it. But then do we keep this? Because for right now we don't have any rounds, so maybe we do a substitution? They're both sniper rifles, in a sense. I'm not sure... What kind of scope does this have? Ooh, a medium! So this one's a short night vision scope, this one's a medium. So that's actually not going to be a bad trade out. Alright, we're going to try and get back to Valenti then. Approximately the right way. I don't think there's gonna be too many hostels around here. Maybe some ferals We got like eight extra pounds if there's something easy to loot around here That would be most excellent Plastic and a rubber. Plastic is good for drugs and such. Okay, here's Valenti. I do want to see what kind of quick looting can be done in the area. One pound for two ceramic. Sure. This guy, doesn't he have a 10 millimeter? Oh, I guess we took it. Armored coat is maybe a possibility now with our backpack, but we can't even carry it at the moment with the gun. The extra gun, that is. If this little bit of extra looting is what gets me killed, I'm going to be so mad. But I'm going to understand it. Nothing on here, I figured, but I just wanted to see if there was a first aid box. I think we've actually already been up here, though, in this particular area. Uh, we've at least been ran through by enemies, I can't remember which. Yeah, okay, we've definitely been here. Uh, I guess we'll just have to head into park. If anything, we'll check the cash register where we dump stuff off and see if there's anything in there we want to grab. What is this? Chained? Huh, okay. To Valenti. Here we are in said station. And now let's see, we got six pounds. Ooh, we definitely do want to actually get that back to the home base area for sure. Alright, maybe not this time, but... Alright, maybe we carry some potential armor possibilities with us. Is 
there's two metal arms. I guess we're gonna probably be aiming for combat armor weight-wise, realistically. But still, couldn't hurt to just have them. Game does huh? not like when you say when it's put our minds loading to it, a new cell. Help turn this place around. Okay, some more ammo. Um, before we sell stuff, I guess I'm gonna go drop some stuff off. Just so I know what's being sold and what is not. Okay, so we're gonna drop this off. Wait, do we have the ammo? Yes, we have a little bit of ammo. All right, so we're gonna drop this off for now because we don't have any ammo for it anyway. Drop those boys off. 1025. These have better armor. But these also give you one agility, one endurance. I think. F oh man, that's a tough one. I guess we'll keep these, because damage really is the main concern. Okay, that'll go up top. And for now, we'll drop off our 308 ammo, because we don't need it. Dang, I forgot to take my stim pack back from Daisy. But that's okay. We should have some stim packs down here. Okay, most excellent. Sorry, this is... I, I keep it in because it's a reality of frost, but I do chapter out the videos. So if this is something you don't want to see, you shouldn't have to. You should be able to just straight up skip it. I wonder if we can actually sell those. It doesn't appear we can. I never see them in the menu. That clears quite a bit of weight. Still got some decent weight going on. It's probably gonna be a lot of food. Oh, dog meat. We'll drop one of these off because we'll cook the three into one. And that'll do. 2107. I don't think we need sleep. I'm pretty sure we slept like last night of this day. I could be wrong. Yes? Uh, <coughs> they're no, probably oh, still going to be computer. wiped out actually for bartering, but I don't think I really have anything could use to barter. It's on my list. Yeah, no, she is all wiped out. Alright, so that won't work. We're still going to need to heal rats regardless. Let's go check with the buyer, though. Yes? Huh? Yes? Yes? Excuse me. Looking to buy? Let's see what you have. Here's what I've got. 
Oh, dang. He's fully, fully restocked. He's got 3,000. Unfortunately, not much good or useful besides the water filters, which we're not yet super capable or ready of realizing and using. Wow, I guess we don't have anything to sell. I'll probably just cut all of that then. I don't know. I really thought we had something though. Alright, properly fed. So we'll go cook the dog meat real quick. And then we'll get healed up. You'll always be welcome here. How are you? Very nice, very nice. We have our mutt chops. Now we'll go get healed by uh, Frost Murphy. I'm more worried about personal protection. You know, someone coming at you. All right, lady. Are you ready to rob me? Hi. Hey there. Trading? Yeah. See what's wrong with me, doctor. <laughs> now go over your symptoms for me, one at a time. Too much radiation. I feel sick. Blood pulling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yeah. We better clean you up. <laughs> Sounds good. Blood pooling. And that's that. Anything else? Wow, health is 350 now. Alright, screw it. It's going in the nighttime and we were gonna go out anyway, so we're that gonna it. sleep off way. the injuries, hopefully. Yeah, because it's 21.25, so it's night. We woke up in the morning, and I would like to keep that cycle going. And we've had a level up this whole time. So I guess we should figure that out. Strength wouldn't be bad. Rifleman 2 would be real great, especially now that we have that uh, handmade rifle. This is always beautiful. I'm so tempted to take it. Oh, that's right. If we take medic, we can potentially craft quite a bit more healing-wise. Rifleman will potentially stop us from needing to get healed. But it does mean sanity reduction. Big choice. Feels like a big choice. Uh, we'll take medic since we're here, and we'll go see what we can craft. And that'll be the plan, I guess. We have to sleep anyway, so we'll go back to that area. Um, one thing I do want to see that I have not seen is... I want to see the services this guy offers. I know he does stuff with insanity. I'm not sure if I have to actually be insane, or if he'll give, like, small sanity healing. I really don't know. We're at 37 after the Mentats binge, so not terrible. <clears throat> Is there anything I can do to help you? Wow, that's a lot of money for five sanity. What's wrong with a mushroom? Let's see. I didn't know about this. Not one of my proudest moments, as you can see. But this is what happens when you speak with people who don't want to listen. About the mushrooms. We'll take too long to explain. How about you read the... Nothing else for now. That's good. No, I'm fine. No problem. 
Well, I wouldn't be opposed to paying for some sanity if I thought we truly needed it and could afford it, but I don't think either of those are true. So here's what he's referring to. Case, the glowing mushrooms. We read the other note earlier, way earlier. Scolay Square Station, Metro Federation. Quality, bad. Risks, too many to count. Location, main tunnel, Scolay Square Station, all six batches. Observe changes. Mushrooms have developed a glowing green texture unseen in previous batches. Mushrooms taste more disgusting than previous batches. Mushrooms are softer to the touch compared to previous batches. Spore structures appear very different compared to previous batches when observed under a microscope. Consumers' aggressiveness is increasing even as I am writing the above portions of this report. The deterioration. It's likely that the decreasing level of radiation in the air is linked to the shrinking, dr shrinking dry mass of the mushrooms, thus also reducing the enzymatic production of each piece which had allowed us to digest them and use them as food. The new watery mass component in the mushrooms is unlikely to have been added through any human effort due to the crude thuggish behavior most station inhabitants currently demonstrate, and that's in reference to the Scully Square people, although it is hard to verify due to, its, uh, due to their uncooperative attitude. Possible effects of consumption. Dramatic decrease in dopamine levels, subsequently increase in mood swings, behavioral disturbances, increased chances of addiction, and cognitive disorders, as observed, as, as observed in station inhabitants. Possible eating disorders due to the diminished digestive enzyme that were present in earlier batches. I can predict that if the station continues eating nothing but these mushrooms, they may soon decide to raid downtown due to starvation. Possible loss of sanity due to the mushroom's propensity for attracting heavy metal and our continued reliance on their enzymes. This will make our body absorb more sources of radiation over time, thus increasing the potential of radiation-related diseases. In addition, those who don't consume the mushroom may also be irradiated from going to places such as the bathrooms as those who did consume them. What we can't do. We can't hope that cooking or boiling will break down the poisonous matter in the mushrooms. The probability is low and testing will be unreliable. What we can do. There is no other option but to try dissolving the whole mass of mushrooms into acid, thus still allowing us to benefit from their active radiation purging enzymes. Acid poisoning is a better but painful solution. If you are already at risk of radiation poisoning, this will likely cause you to die. I'll begin the experiments with the old method of mixing the PB as long as we keep receiving sustained deliveries from Copley. There's some possibility that we can still have a normal metal, a normal meal with little to no side effects, but we won't have enough to support Scolé as well. Comments. The terrain of Scully Station is no longer suitable for mushroom culture as it now has newly bred spores that will contaminate all subsequent batches. I have enough reason to believe the same is happening to the surface, on the surface to a large degree. I do believe that we can rightly reclassify them as glowing fungi and not mushrooms from now on. I tried warning Scully Square to not directly eat those mushrooms and to use acid melting for now. Unfortunately, their only response was to assault me. End of report, Doc Riverson. Dang. Alright, so now we've read that. I don't think he will, but let's see if we have any dialogue with <coughs> him. Is there anything I can do to help you? Nothing else for now. That's good. No, I'm fine. Thanks for asking, Doc. No problem. I wish you well on... Alright, so until we ever find some Thorazine, perhaps our key to staying sane is going to be finding Mentats and binging them and then curing our addiction. I mean, might as well also at that point binge alcohol nice and... Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, we'll go back, see what, if anything new, we can craft. And then sleep. And I have to check the recording time, but that may wrap up the episode. And then we'll start a new adventure. Okay, so now with Medic, I don't know what we'll have the ingredients for. Yeah, look at that. We can make some doctor's bags. Dang, we can make stim packs now. We just need hub flowers. We can make rataways. We just need... Oh, wow, those take purified waters. But I don't really like rataway anyway. 
Dang, that's actually pretty cool. A stim bandage. Greater health regen for five minutes. Heals open wounds. Oh, and we can make antibiotics. They take quite a few stim packs, but that's okay. Alright, cool. Even if that's all the real benefit in crafting, I think that's enough to make it worth it. Mainly because we can make doctor's bags. Right now we have one on us and we have two in storage here. So that should probably do for now. Gonna sleep so it'll be light or close to light when we get up. That'll put us at near five o'clock. Well, we'll, go to, we'll just go for a full eight hours. I didn't eat or sleep before, so we're gonna be hungry and thirsty when we wake up, I have a feeling. Parched. Okay, we are a little low on water at the moment. Five. So we may wind up having Food is still okay, it's not great. Uh, we may have to go to Overland real quick before we start our next adventure. I'm gonna first check the recording time. Okay, this is going on almost 40 minutes, not quite 36, but we'll call that a wrap up here. This is the end of episode, wow, what, 13 now? 13 uh, of the access tunnel start. So we'll go, and I'm not sure what we're going to do exactly. Well, first thing, we'll probably go through parks, out park, and maybe back to Overland to grab some water. And then what do we want to do while we're there? I'm not sure. Actually, what we could really do is we need to get past down here. We need to find Andrew's station, wherever that is. Um, so I think we'll probably do that. But then I need to get some water in here potentially and i'm not sure exactly what to do about that so i will have to figure that out in the next episode but otherwise that'll wrap it up this time thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed the series thus far and i hope to see you next time